What's up, comic and pop culture fans? Another weekend wrapped up of excellent yard sale deals, including the first appearance of Red Sonia, the uh, first rogue, and the awesome Super Wars 8. That and many more. Check it out. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll give you... I got to get a business card. That's what I got to yeah, do. Yeah, it's so easy to do now, too. I'm the same way. like... All right, guys, I got a lead on an awesome yard sale, and it did truly turn out to be awesome. Guy had some amazing, enticing dollar bins, other larger keys, even some slabs and toys that I might be interested in. Uh, most notably, this collection had some truly remarkable $1, quote-unquote, books. Probably about 20 books in the dollar section that easily fetch far more. Look at this. First appearance of Taskmaster. Uh, we got a Spider-Man 800. Yeah, this whole pile was filled to the brim with keys. And pretty much every single one was bare minimum like a $15 book. Uh, truly awesome. It's nice to go out here and see people with some really great prices. Check out the Spider-Man Unlimited. That's like a $20 book. Sometimes higher, depending on when that book gets hot. We got a second and a first print of Steve Rogers' Captain America 1. All kinds of stuff in here. Look at this. A random, not a key, but Fantastic 480. It's a Silver Age book. One dollar? That's crazy. The Marriage of Ben Grimm. Very nice. Couldn't find recent sales data, but it's about an eight dollar book. Then we got Amazing Spider-Man 157. Pretty darn high grade, too. Uh, these are, that's like a $30, $40 book, you know? Suicide Squad number one, not the biggest deal, but we got Captain America 359 and 60, the first and second appearance of Crossbones, both for a dollar. Well, that's just ridiculous. Couldn't find the sales data on this one, sorry. But this one's the first full appearance of Bishop. It's like a $15 high grade raw, not bad. We got this Avengers 33. That's a pretty rare book, actually, for a more modern entry here. This ASM 258 is very nice. Uh, that's actually like a $50 book these days. Uh, Origin of Punchline, eh, it's a small thing. Uh, we got Immortal Hulk number six, the first appearance of Charlie McGowan. And we got the, uh, what's it, the third print? Uh, not third print, third appearance of Carnage. That's again like a $15 book, just sitting in a $1 pile. Solid. But then we move on over here, and it just gets crazier. Full run, he said $125, the full run of Secret Wars. And they range in here from near mint, no joke, all the way down to what I would consider like total mid-grade. Uh, luckily, issue eight is legitimately near mint that thing was super super sharp but then randomly like issue 11 will be kind of lower grade you know it was kind of all over the place clearly he had eight and tried to maybe piece these together 125 dollars that's like a 300 500 stack you don't even negotiate with that <laughs> luckily he gave it to me for a hundred Check out this original cell with certificate of authenticity from the X-Men 90s animated show. This just got better and better. There was this one sketch. Now, the problem is I didn't pick it up. Uh, I didn't recognize who it was. He didn't know who it was. He even offered to me for 20 bucks, but I didn't grab it. Completely unrelated, but on the way home, I swung by my uncle's house who was getting rid of this legitimate vintage Germany clock for free. So I like uh, stuff like that. So I picked that up too. Sorry that that is not comic related, but yeah, let's check out my haul. We got the full Secret Wars. Uh, by the way, with this guy, I spent $500 on the dot. Um, but without even doing all my total math, I'm way beyond that. If I wanted to, I could make my money back, no problem. Like this first appearance of Rogue. This first appearance of Alpha Flight. That's like a $200 book he gave me for 25 bucks. And the ASM 62, another crazy deal here. Couldn't find much sales data on this Submariner uh, Hulk Tales to Astonish issue, but we got another $30 book that he gave to me for 10. We got all kinds of stuff here. 
We got the first appearance of Archangel. Again, that's like a $30 book. He had that under a $5 book. First Black Winter, he had that as a $5 book. First Black Order, I don't know why that book's not more expensive, but hey. First Legion, you know, this is all $5 stuff. First Spawn, that's like a $30 to $50 book. Five bucks. Giant Size Avengers. Couldn't find the sales data on that one, but that's pretty sweet. We got book three of Bat Dark Knight Returns, you know, just nuts. Uh, a small one here, like a $10 book. Yeah, the fun continues here. Look at this. The first appearance of Hammerhead was in here. Mid to low grade, but it's still pretty awesome. Five bucks. Uh, this one was $10, but I think I got it for less. Uh, we got first appearance of Roadie, recent sales at $75. Uh, first mention of One Below All. Another Avengers 97, not bad. Second appearance of Carnage and Newsstand, very nice. Five bucks. <laughs> and then, guys, he threw these in, and I almost passed on them. Um, but I looked up online, and look at this. Maybe I should get toys more often. These are the actual recent sales of these things. And they're, like, ranging from $50 all the way to $150. That's just wild. He had some slabs for $50 each. This first Scott Lang is Ant-Man in a 7.5. It's like a $180 book. The Ms. Marvel's like $100 in a 7.5. He was selling it for 50. The first appearance of Gambit over here, he was selling it for 50, but that's like a almost a $200 book. So, you know, that was a no-brainer picking those up. Here's another quick look at that awesome sell with certificate of authenticity of the X-Men animated show. One of the favorite hauls of the day. That's probably for the PC. That's just too awesome. I wanted to give you guys some more shots of these things. I cannot believe these toys alone get me my money back. Is that not crazy or what? Looks like I'm going to have to venture into the toy world here because this is just, uh, I think about all the times I've passed on toys. This time, I promised you guys I'd pick them up and turns out I made my money back just here. So I will be doing that more often. You will be seeing more toys on this channel. That's a promise. Although these are so cool, I might just keep them myself. I don't know. Bry's Comics recently did a great video identifying older slabs. We're talking CGC slabs from maybe the 2000s in which, yeah, they were a bit more lenient in grading. It's kind of true, but also these books were hardly ever pressed. They were hardly ever cleaned. So I'm looking at these things and if a cleaner presser really wanted to, that Ms. Marvel, the Ant-Man, and that Gambit slab, you could get them all to probably in the eights without any problem. Uh, the uh, Gambit and also the Ms. Marvel, you might actually be able to squeak it all the way up to a 9-0. I noticed dirt that was super fixable. I noticed uh, non-color breaking spine stress lines that could be uh, fixed. I noticed waviness, especially in the Gambit book, there was a lot of waviness. The Gambit book did have some color breaking spine stress lines, but also some non-color breaking that could be pressed out. Just saying, if you wanted to, they could be a lot higher. And just in case that wasn't enough content for you guys, my buddies that do estate sales, this is the same friend that gave me the Marvel Spotlight 32 just last week from last week's video. He wanted me to talk to his business partner, so I went over to his house and I picked out some good ones. And we came to a fair agreement on some prices on some good books here, which I'll show you in just a moment. But there was plenty of good stuff here. Unfortunately, he wanted to keep 95% of it. They're opening a store soon, so they want to have some books. But I got some really good ones here. Check out that Conan 23. That's the first appearance of Red Sonja. That Spider-Woman number one, I'll do a close-up for you in just a bit. That is totally submittable. Awesome detectives. Yeah, this was a great one. Yeah, let's look at this Spider-Man one. I think that's a candidate to be submitted to CBCS. I think I'm going to send that out. I'll maybe get it pressed first and then sent out. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but check it out. We got the Enter the Lost World of the Warlord. That is not Warlord's first appearance, by the way, guys. But it is still a cool book. 
Moving down here, we got John Carter, Warlord of Mars. Very nice. Uh, and then, yeah, here's the recent sales data. We got, that's like, uh, you know, 20 all the way up to a $50 book. We got a Red Sonia number one. I was very impressed with the grade on this. I There were some things that were cleanable, pressable, so I definitely want to do that because a very high grade ends up being like a $50 book. This Detective Comics, the really high grade ones are like 100. This one did have some severe waviness and some stress lines. So I want to get that cleaned and pressed. This sign of the Joker was very nice, very sharp. Um, that's like a $60 book right there. By the way, I spent $100 with uh, my friend's business partner. So all these books showing you here was just 100 bucks. This Detective Comics, I can't believe that fish cover is up to $200. Man, those Detective Comics books will sneak up on you. That Spider-Man number one showed you that one already. And then probably maybe the biggest haul of the day. This is actually like a $300 book. This one does have some water damage in the bottom left-hand corner. I don't know what can really be done too much about that, but it can be slightly resurrected, so you know I'll be doing it. If I really wanted to, I could make my money back probably four or five times from this haul. Guys, let the hobby fund itself get out there, keep on hunting.